This is a, a Bofeng UV3R. It's a UHF, a VHF handheld radio. This one is one of the later models. It's got a, uh, a dual display. It's got a dual watch feature. It's not a true dual bander, but it does have the dual watch feature. And um, this one I paid about 27 UK pounds for uh, from China. And um, you'll see the manual here. It says it's the perfect upgrade. Now, this little radio is um, capable of um, 2 watts RF auto. That's uh, at least what they, uh, what they say. Um, you'll see there's no keypad or anything like that. You've just got four uh, buttons on the front. And on the side of the radio, we've got the PTT. And we've got two other buttons. One of those buttons is for the torch. I'll just... Uh, You've got an LED torch there that's activated with that uh, lower button there. Um, there are 99 programmable memories on this little radio, and it can be programmed using the programming lead. And I happen to have a programming lead for this one, and it works okay with Chirp. You may have an issue with the, uh, the supplied programming lead, it's um. A clone of a PL303 chip and uh, you may need to find an old driver to get the programming lead to work on the uh, on the UV3R. I'll just um, in another video I'll show you how I program mine. But I just thought it was worth a quick look at this radio. It covers from 136 up to 174 megahertz VHF and I think it's 400 to 470 on UHF, so it's fine for 2 meters armature band and 70 centimeters armature band. It could also be programmed with 446 channels and uh, uh, I dare say uh, marine channels and so on that are within the uh, within the coverage. So we'll take a look at it uh, in action fairly soon. It's a lot smaller than the comparable UV5R. I'll just put a UV5 in its bright yellow case next to it. It's very lightweight. It's got a small BL3 battery inside. Um, which you don't need to remove to recharge. You can recharge uh, via a USB. It comes with a supplied USB cable which plugs into the socket on the side here, the DC socket and it will recharge over USB so that's quite handy. So there it is, the uh, Beofeng uh, UV3R quite a good deal smaller than the uh, more popular and well known UV5R. We'll just have a look at the respective widths and there you can see it's also quite a bit uh, quite a bit slimmer, uh, quite a bit slimmer rather. So we'll see how that performs I had an old one years ago, probably 10, 15 years ago, and it worked very well. That just had the single display, so I thought it was uh, time to get the updated, slightly updated model and give it a go, the uh, Beofeng UV3R.